There's an old saying, I think it's about 147 years old now, and it goes like this. A, wom a man can work from sun to sun, but a woman's work is never done. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Why is it never done? And, and, and here's, here's one reason that we can point to. The work of the household, and again, we're, looking, we're gonna look at household management. Mm -hmm. As every female, that's listening to your podcast knows household management is never ending. Right. It is planning, processing, noticing, um, decluttering, organizing, remembering. Are we out of catch up? When are we having meals that are going to require catch up? It's matching mm -hmm. socks. It is um, signing permission slips. It's both the visible and the invisible. Mm -hmm. Machinations of a household. Yeah. The same skills that are needed in household management are the exact same skills needed at the C-suite. Or above. <laughs> <laughs> or above. Like in my queendom, for example. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, it is the same skills as running a kingdom or a queendom and running a business. Like it's time management, it's the executive function skills, right? Mm -hmm. It's 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 the it's the um, it's it's having a healthy relationship to time, to your emotions. That your emotions aren't aren't too flat or too high. It's like running on an even keel. It's being able to plan and process and sequence. It's being able to anticipate what's coming up. And these are all yes. executive function skills. Mm -hmm. we all, you know, the, the work of the household, I mean, we can trace this back historically ad nauseum, right? I mean, Aristotle, I got a quote from Aristotle in the book, and I got a quote from Plato in the book, and then mm -hmm. St. Paul. I mean, it's, it's, it's so codified. And I, I have done, you know, 15 week semesters on, on US women's history that document and codify all of the reasons why this work has become focused on women. It's, you know, they're the keeper of the moral flame. It's keeping, um, it's, it's the opposite. The, the, the genteelness of the household is the opposite of the rough and tumble world of, the, of what historians call the public sphere versus the mm -hmm. home, the private sphere. Um, yeah. During period of early American history, this idea of Republican motherhood. It was as if the weight of the Republic was on a woman's shoulders because she was responsible for raising the future citizens of the state. And, and what kind of household do the future leaders of the state have to come from? They have to come from a well-ordered household. And who's responsible right. for the well-ordered household? It's the female of the house. And truly and really, Miriam, in all of my research these last five years, I've only seen two ways in which women are needed to do the labor of the household, and that is giving birth and breastfeeding. Mm, Other yeah. than that, everything else can be done by either. Every everything else can be done by by the adults in the household, and. Mm -hmm. Um, it, the, the, this understanding was born out of a conversation with my client, Sylvia, and she's filled with despair and anxiety. She's got ADHD, unmanaged. She felt like a lousy wife and mother, and she really internalized it to such a degree that we were sitting on the floor in the middle of all the clutter, and I said, Sylvia, Sylvia, just because you have a vagina doesn't mean to the man are born. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, that body part, <laughs> the, the body part you really need is your cranium and a functioning executive function. That's what we need for this work. So the yeah. work household that we call emotional labor is the invisible, the um, unnoticed, unwritten, unwaged, mm -hmm. undervalued, yet highly valued work of the household. Right.